One of the largest school districts in the country is dropping its mask mandate for students today. Starting today, Houston schools will no longer require masks for its students. Masks will become optional within schools, facilities, and school buses. A lot of the students tend to be a little careless at times, and that does put others at risk. No, we need to keep these masks. Just because the numbers are going down does not mean that we are safe and ready for it yet. Starting Wednesday, New York Public Schools will also ditch its mask mandate dates with LA, Chicago, Washington, D.C., and other major areas around the country following suit. The decisions are coming after the CDC recently announced relaxed masking guidelines for much of the country. A deadly tragedy at a California church. Five people were killed, including three children, at a visit with their father. It was a supervised visit that was underway in the main sanctuary of the church. A father was to have time with his three children, all under the age of 15, with a chaperone. Their mother was not there. During that meeting, the father, police say, shot and killed his children, the chaperone, and then himself. Nobody was alive when sheriff's deputies arrived on scene. The mother had a restraining order against the father. He was not supposed to own a gun. No matter what, I'm going to do what I got to do for him. At a rodeo in Belton, Texas, right out of the gate, rider Cody Hooks bucked off his bull. In this bone-chilling video shared online, the 18-year-old lying motionless, unconscious on the ground. As the bull runs wild and bullfighters try to wrangle him, Cody's father Landis, a cowboy himself, just feet away, jumping into action. Could anyone have stopped you in that moment if they tried? No, ma'am. Oh, no. no. Not at all. He knows how I am, and no, nobody could have stopped me. Shielding his son's body with his own. A lot of people don't like to think about, you know, the injuries that happens in bull riding. You know, especially after they get on. That's just part of the everyday cowboy life where I come from. Major League Baseball and its players union failed to reach an agreement to end the lockout. Opening day originally scheduled for March 31st is now canceled. The calendar dictates that we're not going to be able to play the first two series of the regular season, and those games are officially canceled. The owners and players still remain far apart on key points like minimum salary, the bonus pool, and the competitive balance tax, a la the luxury tax threshold. The owners submitted their final and what they considered best offer around 4 p.m. The union said no deal a short time later, and who knows when we'll see the game of baseball again. For the first time since the pandemic, Mardi Gras makes its return today. The Fat Tuesday celebration is back in New Orleans. This is a 180 from this time last year when dangerously high COVID rates prompted the mayor of New Orleans to cancel the parades, a huge economic blow for the city. Local officials say hotels last weekend were about 70 to 80 percent full. That is good news here in the Big Easy, but a far cry from 2019's record-breaking year when an estimated 19 million tourists generated about $10 billion. Fast forward three years, and New Orleans has the some of the toughest COVID restrictions in the South. Smaller crowds. COVID restrictions, uh, shorter parade routes, but all the feathers, beads, sequins you can dream of as the 165-year event is back in most of its glory. A popular social media app, TikTok, is gifting its users with more time for their videos. Now, the maximum time for TikTok videos was originally only 60 seconds. Last summer, TikTok raised the max time to three minutes. Well, now you can create TikTok videos of up to 10 minutes long. The app auto-generates a feed of videos tailored to users' interest. It has more than a billion active users. The move to longer-form videos will rival Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.